Okay, question 14. We are asked to write down the reciprocal of 5. Now you have to know what the word reciprocal means. Reciprocal means, I'll write it down here, reciprocal basically translates to mean 1 over whatever the thing is. So for example, the reciprocal of 6 is 1 divided by 6 or 1 over 6. The reciprocal of 11 is 1 over 11, 1 divided by 11. So the reciprocal of 5 is going to be 1 divided by or 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. And you can just leave your answer as a fraction. Evaluate 3 to the power of negative 2. Now, 3 to the power of 2, you should know, means 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Now, 3 to the negative 2, the negative means you take the reciprocal. So it means that you work out 1 divided by 3 squared. That's what that negative is telling you. And 3 squared is 9, and 1 divided by uh, 3 squared is 1 divided by 9, 1 ninth. Okay, we're asked to calculate 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. So we've got 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. Now with multiplication, you can do multiplication in any order. So I'm going to have the 9 first and then I'm going to multiply it by the 3, and then I'm going to multiply it by the 10 to the 4, and I'm going to multiply it by the 10 to the 3. Now, 9 multiplied by 3 is equal to 27. And 10 to the 4 multiplied by 10 to the 3, the base number is the same, so we can add the powers when multiplying, so that's 10 to the power of 7. Now, you're asked to give your answer in standard form. Standard form has to have the first number between 1 and 10. So we're going to make that 2.7. So we've basically divided this by 10. So in order to keep the answer the same, we have to make this bigger by a factor of 10. So it's going to be 2.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8. So 2.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8.